The accommodating variable focus IOL has been the long sought after solution to restoring true ocular lens function. We are presenting a novel platform of a continuously variable focus lens which employs excess accommodative amplitude and simplicity. The disclosures are as listed, including Intour Technologies, Conexus Lens, and Tamtum Optics, all of which own intellectual property in this type of variable focus lens application. The solution requires a clear understanding of the critical design parameters which will make or break the success of any variable focus IOL. We'll introduce our variable focus lens, discussing the concept, mathematical modeling, and our preliminary prototype. The lens uses a novel technology to change optical power, setting it apart from other lens technologies. Instead of adding power to the lens, it subtracts power from the lens. Simply stated, it utilizes two or more compressible lenses, which when actuated progressively reduce the power of the lens system at the applanating interface. Basically, you are pushing the two lenses together, taking the lens power away at the interface and bringing it to zero. The lens is considerably more powerful than just correcting for defocus. With vectored applanation, it can also simultaneously correct for most orders of superimposed Zernike aberrations real time. This likely would not be an aspect of the intraocular lens. However, this latitude of optical correction lends itself to multiple applications in the focus of light, including small zoom lenses, adaptive optics, and dozens of ophthalmic applications. The key to this type of design is minimizing aberrations at the applanated interface. In the IOL, we will need to be actuated, it'll need to be actuated with less than one gram of axial force and have good visual quality throughout the accommodative range. This process of optimization using coupled finite element analysis and ray trace software was outlined in our publication in Translational Visual Science and Technology. To prove the feasibility and measure the applanating interface design, we coupled two silicone prolate aspheric intraocular lenses in the ex vivo capsular device. The next two slides will demonstrate the lens's applanating interface and hyperfocal accommodation. Imaging with the primary prototype through our ex vivo capsule, we were able to demonstrate 16 diopters of continuous accommodation in air. We simultaneously measured actuation force and optical quality. The prototype lens uses a physiologic one gram of axial pressure on a six millimeter optic with a visual strail ratio of 0.65. Further design improvements would be expected. The coupled lens design is deceivingly simple and it is just two mechanically coupled IOLs made from presently utilized materials. Each lens is inserted separately through a three millimeter incision and coupled inside the capsular bag, minimizing changes in surgical technique. The base lens with a buttressed haptic design minimize, maintains an open capsule concept, greatly limiting capsular phimosis and opacification. Physiologic equatorial expansion during the eye's natural accommodative effort caused the coupled lens to reversibly apanate, reducing the power of the IOL, restoring or even augmenting the eye's natural ability to change its focal distance. This disruptive lens technology is able to be incorporated into most of the developing accommodative lens actuation platforms, improving upon their one, accommodative amplitude, two, optical quality, both on and off axis, three, field of view and negative dysphotopsias, and four, ease of manufacture. The applanating lens platform is a comparatively simple design using existing materials with negligible change in surgical technique. Coupled haptics will operate with equatorial expansion even after YAG capsulotomy, and the open capsule design minimizes capsular phimosis. The large potential of accommodative amplitude lends itself to a greater than 4x image magnification at near, aiding those with retinal disease such as age-related macular degeneration. Thank you for your time today.